Since I'm making two versions of the same kit, in the following segments you will see two versions of the Royal New Zealand Air Force Roundel, indicating which footage is which. The Kiwi RNZAF Roundel denotes the starter set footage. The RNZAF Silver Thern Roundel denotes the T11 slash J28 kit. And now back to the build, starting with the starter set.
I decided to replace the kit's molded pitot tubes by first cutting off the original parts and using lengths of 0.5mm brass rod, which were super glued into place. Once dried, it was time to paint the models. The chosen bare metal colour used on both vampire models was Tamir Acrylic X11 Silver. In order to brush paint the models with Tamir Acrylics, I added a few drops of Tamir Paint Thinner along with a few drops of Tamir Paint Retarder. Once all mixed together, the silver colour was brushed over the models with a small flathead paintbrush. After a few hours of drying time, the paint was also applied in a second coat and left to dry out. The T11 J28 set had its tail primed in matte white primer. In order to paint the model in the colours of a 1960s era RNZAF T11 vampire, this paint scheme had a fluorescent orange tail segment. However, painting a transparent colour like orange requires multiple coats. After the last coat of paint had dried out, Vallejo satin varnish was brushed over the tail segment. To add highlights to the metallic surface on both vampires, Vallejo Metal Color Chrome was brushed on the nose and other raised parts of the models, thus creating highlights. Once dried, it was time to decal the models. The starter set decals were applied with Micro Sol and Micro Set Decal Solution. This model depicts the colours of a Royal New Zealand Air Force Vampire between the years of 1971 to 1972, not long after the adoption of the Kiwi Roundel and just prior to the type's retirement from RNZF service in 1972. To make the markings of an early 1960s era RNZAF Vampire T11, the kit's RAF roundels were applied to the model using Micro Sol and Micro Set. I then applied a small set of silver ferns from the Ventura Publications RNZAF Fern Leaf roundels to the centre of the roundels. To complete the decals for the early 1960s RNZAF paint scheme, I made serial number decals in Adobe Photoshop that were printed onto clear inkjet decal paper. Once dried, the sheet was sealed with microscale decal film in three layers with a few hours of drying time between each coat. After 24 hours, the decals were applied to the model. The 
fin flash was made by cutting down the kit's fin flash decals to the correct size. The red and white stripes were applied first, followed by the blue strip. Inspired by photos of RNZAF vampires flying over both the Tasman Sea and Pacific Ocean, I decided to display the in-flight model on a display stand with an ocean base. I used a clear display stand by Minicraft Models by first coating the base with Reeves Gloss Gel Medium to create some ocean waves. Once dry, Vallejo Dark Prussian Blue was painted on the bottom of the stand, with the top of the base being painted in Tamiya X23 Clear Blue. Once the paint had dried, a second coat of Reeves Gloss Gel Medium was applied over the base to form the ocean waves. Between takes, white paint was used to highlight the top of the waves, with the clear stand attached to the base, and lastly the model was attached to the display stand. The navigation lights were made by cutting off the moulded wingtips, followed by applying drops of Tamiya Clear Red and Tamiya Clear Green to simulate the coloured lights. Once dried, the glass covers were made from drops of Mod Podge Gloss Glue. And with that, both vampires were done. Thanks for watching this video, and good luck with all your ongoing scale modelling projects. Here it is, the completed models.